Good evening. I am Lorraine Roth, the founder and managing director of Parklands College and Christopher Robin Pre-Primary. I would like to welcome you to our Parklands Insights, which will provide you with a glimpse of the wonderful things that take place at our school. Enjoy. Hello, we are your executive prefects for 2021. Our vision for 2021 is to make the schooling environment as inclusive as possible. With our motto being all about unity and finding strength within each other, it's important that everybody feels included. This is why we as the matric class of 2021 strive to create an environment where everyone feels safe, represented, loved, and valued. We must embrace each other for our differences and thus promote positivity. And create an overall spirit of unity. This can only mean good things. Amanda Omaniano, united by diversity. Good day, my name is Reed Peterson, the principal at Christopher Robin Pre-Primary. Play in the younger years is vital for the holistic growth and development of children. At Christopher Robin Pre-Primary, we encourage and create as much opportunity to play as possible. Rich, authentic play is the most powerful medicine for body and mind. Unstructured play is critical for healthy brain development self-regulation of emotions and improved literacy. Our classrooms are equipped with wonderful fantasy areas. Fantasy play is a rich, rewarding activity that helps little ones practice new and consolidate old skills. By talking to and interacting with each other, the dolls and the toys, children strengthen their verbal and social skills. They devise their own plots, for example, what happens next or how can we change things, as well as age appropriately and practically solving problems. Studies indicate that the three qualities most highly valued are self-confidence, social skills and academic skills. People link these qualities to structured activities and organised sports, when in actual fact Research shows that they are closely linked to play in the early years. Our nurturing environment and passionate, dedicated teachers at Christopher Robin Pre-Primary create many opportunities for unstructured and structured play daily, building on their independence, entrepreneurship and an innovative approach to learning. It's clear the world needs more innovation and more entrepreneurs. So how do we nurture the next generation of doers and dreamers? In our caring and play-based environment, our little ones become critical thinkers, purposeful collaborators, active and creative agents in their own learning, with the ultimate purpose of developing into responsible world citizens. Choosing their own interesting and relevant games in the classes, helping to tidy up after playing and completing activities are contributing to their independence, confidence and resilience. Involvement with LEGO soft brick play and robotics introduces early computational thinking, mathematical and language skills, as well as grit. Yes, play develops the very skills every parent should want for their child. As pre-primary teachers, we are ensuring that children's unstructured time is protected to allow for more play and exploration. This is perhaps the greatest gift that we can give our children to prepare them for their future, one that will last a lifetime. Welcome to Christopher Robin Pre-Primary, where the successful foundation is laid for purposeful collaborators, creative agents and responsible world citizens through play and innovation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chef Kerry and I work in the Junior Preparatory and the Pre-Primary. My role is to teach learners to love food and enjoy food as well as teach them how to cook. So we start from Grade R and we go all the way to Grade 6. Um, and then that continues obviously in, on towards the high school with food technology and hospitality. Um, with our little grade R's we go into our herb garden and we pick herbs, we teach them about vegetables and where they come from. We also teach them certain skills, so all the way through to grade 6 we learn how to make doughs and batters and we focus on things like whisking and mixing and using those fine motor skills as well as measurements, 
learning how to measure cups, um, weigh things, all those important life skills that kids need in order to be able to cook and enjoy food. Good evening, my name is Leanne Steinberg and I'm the principal of the preparatory faculty. At Parklands College, we are proud of our Growing Minds approach and I would like to share a little bit more with you about these values. Growing Minds encompasses the whole child and positively encourages and promotes each learner's individual strengths. Our Growing Minds has five elements. We believe that communication is an important skill and as effective communicators, we support our children expressing and sharing their values, ideas and opinions in a variety of ways. Purposeful Collaborators is where we recognise those opportunities to interact, learn from and collaborate with others in our school and broader community. Our critical thinkers are encouraged to pause, reflect and think out of the box which leads us to our creative agents. Creative agents see the possibilities of their imagination and are encouraged to never give up and learn through failure. Fail forward, which means first attempt in learning. And finally, we have our responsible citizens who show empathy, fairness and respect towards others. All these aspects are intentionally woven into our teachers' planning and our children are developed holistically in this whole school approach. Our small classes allow our dedicated teachers to have focus groups where they teach through playing games to help consolidate concepts in a fun and creative way. We believe in nurturing and developing all our children for them to be the best they can be. To support this, we have an amazing on-site occupational therapist with a therapy room filled with appropriate equipment. We have swings, a ball pit and of course my favourite, bean bags. Here our learners are supported and given one-to-one -one focus. We have a wonderful speech therapist. You'll always find her with board games under her arm that she's adapted to suit the needs of the learners in her care. We also have on-site remedial teachers who provide that additional support to some of our learners who need that little bit extra. Learners joining us throughout the year are welcome to attend our extra lessons to help give them a boost and gain confidence in all aspects of our program. We look forward to welcoming you to our college. Good evening, I'm Roche Bakel. I'm Head of Culture of the Preparatory Faculty and I'm also the Drama Teacher. The learners of Parklands College are exposed to the world of dance, music, art and drama from a young age, encouraging them to appreciate the arts while learning vital skills and building their confidence. Ballet lessons are offered from pre-primary where our young dancers learn balance and core technical skills. These skills are developed further as they continue with their ballet lessons in the preparatory school. They have the opportunity to extend their knowledge of dance genres with the introduction of tap and modern dance from grade 3 and continue their learning of all three disciplines through to the secondary faculty. Music lessons are also introduced in the pre-primary with learners being able to participate in group classes or in individual violin, recorder or piano lessons. Individual music lessons continue in the preparatory faculty with the addition of tuition instruments including drum kit, vocals, guitar and various woodwind instruments. Our orchestras, choirs and marimbas are also extremely popular. Our art and design rooms are always a hive of activity. Observational drawing skills develop qualities of perception and understanding of what is being drawn. Imagination is stimulated and this gives the learners the right set of tools and the fine motor skills to create and visually represent bigger ideas and designs, which can then be taken further in the design centre at the secondary faculty. Teaching drama across all grades in the preparatory school is vital as it helps to build confident learners with excellent communication skills who are able to vocalise their ideas, thoughts, 
feelings and discoveries in an articulate manner. The skills learnt in our enrichment lessons are essential for our future entrepreneurs and leaders because even if you don't want to become a performer, you still need to express yourself and our preparatory culture department can help you to do that. Good evening. My name is Pomza Bacha. They call me Tichalagazi Bacha. I teach Isikosa at Parklands College from grade one to seven. Grade one to five, it's Isikosa Conversational, which is more about translating English to Isikosa and a little bit of culture. And from grade six up to grade seven, it's first additional, which is more about writing, oral, and assessments. But from 2021, we are going to offer Isikosa first additional language from grade one up to grade 12, which is exciting because learners are going to be able to choose between Isikosa and Afrikaans. They're going to learn more about the culture, the Kosa people, and they will understand them better. 2021 is going to be very exciting and I hope to see you in Isikosa class. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm one of the science teachers at Parklands College and I love being a teacher here. I get to be a part of a team of scientists who are incredibly passionate about what we do and being involved in the classroom here, um, it reminds me a little bit of uh, what Richard Feynman used to say, which is that science doesn't just teach us what we know, it also teaches us what we don't know. And that means that we get to be creative and we get to ask big questions. And in our pursuit of the answers to those big questions, we get to roll up our sleeves and um, get involved in real science. And the children in the classes get exposed to uh, real life questions. And things like the Science Expo give them an opportunity to ask questions themselves and explore topics um, that interest them. And in their pursuit of the answers to these questions, it's a bit like putting together um, a mind puzzle and they get to work collaboratively with each other and do some critical thinking in trying to unpack the answers to these questions. And we get to come alongside them and engage with them in that process. And it's all very exciting um, as a scientist and also as a teacher. And whether you are in grade four or you're 65 years old, we're all on this process of learning and asking questions and unpacking these answers together. And when we get the answers, Inevitably, we open up a whole new world of new answers to explore together. So it's a never-ending process of learning. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Matthew Watson, and I am the head of sports at the Preparatory Campus. And I'd like to give you some more information on our sports program. In 2020, we had to change things quite a bit and find new ways to deliver our material to our learners. We are fortunate that we were able to send our activities on an individual basis to our learners' devices and receive their challenges back. We can't wait though to get back out onto our fields and make use of our vast facilities, from our water polo pools to our tennis courts and netball courts. We can't wait to have bodies back out there. Our movement program ranges from our dynamic PE program right through to sports specific skills. And learners from pre-primary to matric are included in this program. We can't wait to have our learners back out on the fields in 2021 and tackling the sport again. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Nags and I'm the Director of Technology Innovation at Parklands College. And what I basically do is I look at new technologies that are coming out and I work out how we can integrate this into our learning and teaching program. So I want to tell you a little bit about robotics. Uh, robotics is such an incredible and exciting offering that we have at our school. And what is so interesting about it is it helps our learners develop skills like creativity um, and problem solving and it develops skills um, like engineering, um, coding and mechanical skills. So what our learners get to do is they get to to make these robots that they then program and they program them to solve these specific challenges. 
So we participate in the World Robot Olympiad and the first LEGO League. Now these are really, really brilliant, brilliant competitions because what they do is they focus on a specific theme uh, every year. And for example, it could be climate change or it could be uh, water conservation. And then what the learners have to do is they have to come up with an invention, with a product to actually solve the problems that we have in the real world. And the kind of ideas that our learners come up with are absolutely incredible. The kind of imagination that they have and the, the, the kind of inventions that they develop are, are astounding. Um, the really exciting uh, space to be in. And we've realized the potential of that. And what we've done in response to that is we have actually uh, made robotics a permanent offering in our normal curriculum. So our learners from grade R all the way through to grade nine have the opportunity to do robotics in the curriculum. And from grade 10 to grade 12, they can participate in robotics uh, through uh, the competition and utility offerings that we have. We also uh, have a host of other offerings and these include international certifications. We do the Adobe Certified Associate Certification which is uh, based on Adobe Photoshop. We also do CompTIA certifications, uh, the ITF Plus which is uh, Fundamentals, Hardware and Software International Certification and we also do the CompTIA A Plus and N plus which are entry level uh, certifications into the computer industry. Our robotics offering also extends beyond our LEGO offering and that's through the first tech challenge or better known as FTC and with FTC our learners get to use the Rev Robotics components and uh, basically get involved in, in much more advanced uh, robotics challenges and our learners have done very well in this competition. They've competed twice, uh, two years in a row and last year they were the Alliance champions. So a very exciting space to be with the more kind of industrial uh, robotics equipment. So I'd really like to invite you to come and have a look at all the innovative and, and exciting extension offerings that we have at the college where we can help your children build their own futures. Hello, we are the Peerys. We are the parents of Wenda and Mwai Peery. And our boys have been at Parklands College for the last six years. So when we were making the choice of school for the boys, three things were really important for us. Uh, number one, we wanted to make sure that the school had a high academic performance. Um, and secondly, we wanted to ensure that whatever school they were taken to just didn't focus on academics and sports, but they would have opportunities to be immersed in culture, uh, to have experiences with technology and the latest technologies, and to also just have other facilities so that they have a diversity of experiences whilst at school. And thirdly, we actually want, wanted uh, a school where the values are the values that we believe in. So we wanted values alignment and that was very important to us. Uh, we kind of got worried sometimes when you send kids to school and they learn things that you have to undo at home. Yeah, so that values alignment was super important for us because we believe that educators are like co-parents and so ensuring that what we believe in, the school also believes in was important and so for us Parklands College has really lived up to expectation and we've had an amazing experience with them. Hi I'm Vivian and a mom at Parklands College. I've got two daughters one in grade 10 and one in matric. Uh, the last six years have been the most incredible high school career of our family life my children have absolutely uh, blossomed at, at Parklands College because um, if you rock up at Parklands College with the right attitude early in the morning and you just do everything that you can sign up for, it is the most incredible place to grow. Technology is at the forefront. Um, I mean, it, if it wasn't for Parklands College, College during this pandemic with the infrastructure of technology and the way that they have taught the kids 
uh, we, we would not have been um, on time. And I think that is probably one of the best feathers in Parkland's cap is that my children have turned into positive people that I honestly believe will be able to contribute to the sustainability of, of the world, um, to the growth um, of economies, um, to the, the betterment of communities, and that is all because of everything that they offer at Parklands College. Um, from their people, teachers who have taught my children so much, um, and from showing respect. Well, honestly, at Parklands College, what you put in, you will receive back five times. I wish I could um, tell you more about our experience, but all I can say is you have to be there to experience it. Hello, my name is Dean. My wife and I have two daughters that are currently at Parkins College. Deciding to give them a world-class education was possibly the best decision that we have ever made. We did a lot of homework initially. Uh, we had a number of friends who were Parkins parents and we really liked what we saw in the way that their children were being educated. The college offers a vast number of opportunities. In the last few years, our girls have hiked in the Himalayas, they've traveled to South America to attend international robotics competitions, they've been on academic tours to various countries in Europe and universities, they've attended quite a few grade camps at the start of each year, and they've also taken part in a number of sports tours. As a result of all of this, they've become really independent individuals. On the technology front, Parklands is truly world class. This was very important for us as we wanted the comfort of knowing that if should they decide to live or work overseas one day, they would be up to speed and comfortable. During the global pandemic and especially during lockdown, um, again Parklands was absolutely unbelievable. Right now they are both writing exams. They're up to speed with everything and that has given our family a tremendous um, peace of mind. The facilities on each campus are also world class um, and this can be seen should you attend one of their open days. For me, the teachers are the real backbone of a school and I always take great pride in watching their academic assemblies um, when the teachers parade their academic gowns and the thought that these very teachers are teaching my children almost gives me goosebumps. It makes you feel really, really good. So as you can hear, our journey at Parklands College has been extremely fulfilling. It's taught us to trust in our girls' abilities. They love their school, they are happy, and as a result, we are also very happy. So both now and in the future, um, our blood is forever blue. Well done, Parklands College. Good day, I'm Sylvia Stein, Principal of Parklands College Secondary Faculty. Confucius said it first, but it has been repeated in many creative ways. If you love what you do, it will never feel like work. And that is most certainly evident in the attitude of the educators at Parklands College. We see that in how they are never simply satisfied with the status quo. They are constantly searching for innovative and interesting ways in which to deliver content. They go way and above the syllabus to ensure relevant learning and never hesitate to go the extra mile for their learners. One example of this was when Protea's women cricketer Laura Wolfhard missed a month of her matric year to play in the Cricket World Cup. Her educators ensured that she was up to date by the time she wrote the finals and she passed with a full house of distinctions. Parklands College, PC, passion for what we do and commitment to excellence. My name is Paul Mayers and I'm the Associate Principal of Innovation at Parklands College. Innovation is such an interesting word, it really talks about and probably one of my favorite definitions around intersection of two seemingly different disciplines that intersect where we can provide something new. 
And that's what we really enjoy about doing this at Parkland's College. Innovation looks very different depending on which disciplines you bring together. And with the more things we try and incorporate into what we understand at the moment as this VUCA world, something that is volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. And this is where our learners are heading into their future. So if we can actually get these skills working at school, they have such a better chance of being able to design what their dream job looks like which is going to be very different to what we know as jobs at the moment. And while that sounds like a cliche, this is the reality of even our current metrics walking into something new next year. This pandemic we've come out has changed our world forever and we're needing to be able to have those skills where we can move in to do something different. It takes things that are from extremes, using the technology, but also that human connection that we need to make sure that we keep on working on. So being able to take people into a film studio, being able to understand sound, being able to put presentations together that speak to the heart, this is the innovation of the future. Good evening, my name is Ankia Foslu and I'm the Associate Principal of Academics at Parklands College. Our academic program is enriched with opportunities to learn and explore beyond the prescribed curriculum. It is developed to not only build a strong academic foundation, but to give you the opportunity to venture outside your comfort zone, to try new adventures and extension courses, to discover your best self. There is something here for everyone. We focus on the development of 21st century skills in and outside the classroom, such as critical thinking and collaboration. We develop innovators and entrepreneurs who become lifelong learners and approach problem solving with confidence and a passion to make a difference. Young adults who are equipped with the necessary skills and ready to take on an ever-changing and more abstract world. Our technology integration and subject collaboration put us at the forefront of education and our wide subject range of 17 electives to choose from is supported by an excellent team of subject specialists. In 2021 we are excited to introduce fashion design to our curriculum and we expand our advanced program offering to include not only AP English and AP Maths but also advanced program physics offered via an online platform. There are no limits to your dreams. Create your own future and join us for an exciting academic adventure. Good evening, I'm Cathy Dodders and I'm the Head of Culture here at the Secondary Faculty at Parklands College. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what culture means to us here at Parklands. You know, the arts are such an important aspect of any child's education and anyone's life. You only have to think about the impact the arts have on you on a daily basis to realise that a life without the arts is unimaginable. Many of our learners arrive having had much training in the pre-primary and preparatory faculties in disciplines such as music, dance, drama and of course visual arts. Here at the secondary we tend to hone those passions Learners specialise in whatever field it is they are particularly drawn to and we expose them to other fields as well such as the sound engineering and radio in our studios. Growing Minds is something we pride ourselves on here at Parkins College and in the Arts Department we grow hearts. Empathy is a natural byproduct of having an arts education. Developing an understanding and acceptance of other cultures and other people is of great benefit to learners and to our society as a whole. Learners are exposed to a general form of arts education through creative arts in grades 7, 8 and 9, but they can specialise at any time with private tuition in music, dance, drama and art. This private tuition is a great benefit to those learners seeking a possible career in media, film, television or in theatre. Learners are encouraged to pursue their studies in drama, dance and music 
to participation in local ISTEDFORDS as well as international examinations such as Trinity College for Music and Drama, the Royal Academy of Dance for Ballet and others. Many of our past learners have gone on to achieve great things in each of these spheres. All our different disciplines find a home and come together in our major musical productions which are staged every second year. This incredible creative collaboration between the staff and the learners of the different arts departments is something we at the college are extremely proud of. We have staged musicals as part of our tradition since 2008. All our learners are encouraged to participate in these productions. Even those who don't have a particular interest in performing have opportunities to work front of house and backstage. Many learners who otherwise would not have been involved become stage managers, makeup artists, wardrobe, hair, makeup and set technical crew. In conclusion, I'd like to invite you to come and join us here at the Arts Department at Parklands College. The door is always open. Come and explore. Hello, my name is Fungai Changunda. I'm responsible for the electronics here at Parklands College. Academically, from grade 7 to grade 9, we offer introductory electronics classes where we teach the learners the basics. From grade 10 to grade 12, they can then pick it as a t subject that they will write in metric. This subject is called Digital Electronics and Parklands is the only school in the Western Cape offering it. We have a workshop at the, in the Experium where the students can actually develop products and use all the equipment there under supervision. We have a utility called Product Development where the students can actually develop their own products from idea stage right up until the prototype. This is facilitated by a workshop and an experience where there are 3D printers, tools, uh, laser cutters, soldering equipment and all the other tools that students may need so that they can implement all the solutions that they, they think of. Apart from product development, we also have an exciting robot wars where the students can actually build their robots from scratch using different materials as well as the digital electronics as well using Arduino. At Parklands College, we aim to equip the students to be value, valuable members of the work, workforce. So the students who choose to do robot wars, product development and digital electronics as a subject will become experts in their field. And even those who don't, who have the basic skills to at least understand and actually add to be contributing members to society as well. So please join us at Parklands College where we can do digital electronics together. Hi, I'm Karika Kass and I'm Head of Design here at Parklands and I'm going to take up the fashion design for next year. Now this will enable learners to explore the techniques of fashion design and to develop skills that is required beyond the basic level for acceptance into tertiary study. The fashion design is such a creative space and learners will have the opportunity to embrace innovation. After successfully completing the fashion design component, learners who want to become economically empowered and self-sufficient will have the necessary skills to support this endeavor and to support entrepreneurship. The fashion design is an elective subject you can choose for grade 10 up until grade 12 or you can come and join us in a co-curricula and come and explore this wonderful world. Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Je m'appelle Madame Bailly and tonight I wish to tell you more about the French department at Barclays College. At the college we introduce our learners to this exquisite language from grade 4 to 6 as an enrichment course. In the secondary faculty, French is offered as an academic subject in the GT and in the FET phases. Here at Parklands College, we do not underestimate the knowledge of French as it is a world language of international communication. More than 300 million people speak French on the five continents. 
French is also one of the official languages of the United Nations, the European Union, African Union, UNESCO, NATO, the International Olympic Committee, FIFA, the International Red Cross and international courts. French also exposes a new world of culture, arts, literature and philosophy to our learners. It is the language of Victor Hugo, Baudelaire, Molière, Racine and Jean-Paul Sartre. French is seen as an analytical language that structures thought and develops critical thinking. And of course, it is a beautiful language that is often referred to as the language of love. Vive le Français à Parkins College. Hi, I'm Mr. King and Daniels and I run the public speaking here at the secondary faculty. At the secondary faculty of the Parkins College, we take great pride in our public speaking and we really understand that it's a tool for our development in our lives. So not only do we, we have a public speaking society where we take part in, in international and national competitions, but we also try to integrate public speaking into our everyday teaching, where we help and we encourage learners to engage critically with the content matter, both verbally and just with their writing and just how they present themselves. Whether you want to become a professional speaker or confident in the workplace or just confident in your everyday life, public speaking is integral to your 21st century education here at the college. Hello, I'm Betsy Grobler. I'm head of the Department for Hospitality Studies and Food Technology. Um, I'm here to tell you about the hospitality and food technology in Parklands College. Um, who of us can't remember the smells coming from the home ec rooms when we were sitting in a boring Afrikaans or maths lesson? And who of us didn't have friends um, in the home ec rooms just to make sure that you do get the scone and the, and the pancake coming from there? Now, hospitality studies and food tech here at Parklands is a very special department. We work as a team and we try and build the students from grade 8 to grade 12 to be stunning chefs and waitrons. What we do with the students in grade 8 and 9, they do food technology and that is where they explore different dishes, they create their own dishes and in grade 10 it is a choice subject and from there we start teaching them or working with them as kumi chefs and as waitrons. In grade 10 and 11 and 12 you have a very big theory component to work with as well as a practical component to work with. At the end of grade 12, you write a three-hour theory component for question paper that comes from the WCED. In grade 10 and 11, we do an extra qualification for our hospitality students that is accredited in the UK. It is a high field level two in food and production. At the end of grade 11, they will be able to walk into the industry and work as a kumi chef and further their qualifications with a diploma in chefing. With the students in grade 10, 11 and 12, we do a Waitron diploma with the IHT Hotel School. With these diplomas, they will walk into the industry being better qualified than any other student that is planning to be in the industry. We have a lot of our past students that's working in this industry all over the world um, on cruise ships, in hotels. We try and expose our students to the industry here in South Africa with taking them on outings to the different hotels, meeting international chefs, meeting our own chef Jan in his innovation studio, being in the hospitality department here at Parkins College. We're very passionate about what we do. And we would love if you want to come and see us in our Conicea kitchen here at Parkins College in 2021. Good evening, I'm Craig Fortain, a teacher in the Commerce Department at Parklands College. My colleagues and I teach a range of commerce subjects. We teach accounting, business studies and economics. And we strongly encourage any learners who are thinking of studying for a commerce degree after school to take one or more of the subjects on offer. Entrepreneurship is strongly encouraged as well. and. 
many of our learners take part in competitions, Olympiads, uh, bursary writing competitions, and we've had a number of winners over the past few years. Our offering is very, very strong, and we believe that learners who have taken the commerce subjects in our department will can look forward to doing very, very well at university. Good evening, I'm Christine Gregg. I'm the outgoing Interact President and the current head girl at Parkins College. The United Nations Sustainability Goals, together with Rotary International's seven areas of focus, form the foundation for outreach at Parkins College. Through various outings and initiatives hosted across all three campuses, we are promoting and encouraging key global competencies which play an essential role with adapting to the 21st century workspace, future world, and the nurturing of responsible citizens. Being an Apple Distinguished School has provided us with the skills to collaborate on a local, national and international level. Here, we learn the key skill of purposeful collaboration and appreciate one's uniquenesses. From global service projects such as beach cleanups with both interact clubs around the peninsula as well as clubs in Germany, Tunisia, Egypt and Mexico to regular collection drives in support of our sister school in Quenquezi High School in Danoon, treating one another equitably and with respect whilst uplifting the lives of those around us has always remained the key priority. Aware of the needs of others has given rise to initiatives such as international debates on pressing topics hosted by Rotary Interactive Quarantine, a global network connecting Rotary youth around the world, where we seek to understand the ideas and opinions of others and, due to the current pandemic, have used this crisis as an opportunity to use digital platforms to go about executing these global service projects. Aside from the many global projects, the college also has an extensive range of local projects. An all-time favourite and highlight is the Mandela Day celebration, where the pre-primary held a collection drive of fresh soup produce and tinned items for Little Brinks, an organisation that ensures that babies and children have a place of safety, food and clothing. Over on the preparatory campus, these dynamos designed Mandela cards and packed little bags of face masks for West Riding primary school learners, whilst we, the secondary learners, discovered ways to continue going about uplifting our community, from making sandwiches to sewing masks and even some Zoom calls with the elderly at Hysonicus to bring some light during these challenging times, these learners continue to find ways to go about helping others. Outreach is an all-inclusive environment, inspiring action from anyone and everyone, from sportsmen and women to the cultural learners. We have incredible facilities and resources and the opportunity to create original music resulting in the release of the final product on a global market. One of the most recent releases was a Nelson Mandela celebration album where 100% of the proceeds go towards the Mandela Foundation. Parklands College has created an environment conducive to app development where they foster creativity and innovation and, as a result, Touchbase, a one-on-one -on -one service application linking a volunteer and an organisation, was born and is now available for iOS download. These learners saw the potential to solve a real-world problem, which mobilises and fosters real change. Their motto, Helping People Help People, directly links to the colleges of Reaching Outwards, Growing Minds, Building Futures. Hello, my name is Chantal Lamb and I am Head of Parklands College Further Education. I'd love to tell you a little bit about us. Parklands College Further Education is a lovely, nurturing environment. Where should students require it, lecturers are able to draw alongside them and offer individual guidance. I think it's a lovely, cosy environment to develop confidence. Our facilities, our training facilities are just beautiful, inviting and lovely to study in. I think the best part about our program and the most unique part is that we have children right next door in Christopher Robin Pre-Primary and our students get to be in the Pre-Primary on a daily basis. So it's not just for a short time but actually they become part of the school and part of the life of the school. 
They also get to see the progress of children over time, which is invaluable. I love lecturing in the afternoon and immediately relating it to something that has happened in the classroom in the morning. I mean, how many of us remember the theory, but if we can relate it to something that has happened practically, then that learning becomes very real. Um, I can't think of any reason why anybody wouldn't want to study at Parklands College Further Education. So if you have a passion for early childhood development and little people, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us for our Parklands Insights. We hope to see you in 2021.